One of the most important industrial centers in the Czech Republic is situated in the West Bohemian city of Plzeň. A key position not only in the city itself, but throughout the region, is occupied by the industrial giant Skoda. TS Plzeň is one of the largest and most important plants of the joint stock company Skoda. Its products are well known for their quality and excellent parameters. Apart from equipment for sugarcane mills, rolling mills, presses and environmental systems, the company is a traditional supplier of curing presses for the manufacture of tires for various types of trucks, tractors and road building machines. The first presses were made here as early as the 1960s. In the following years, hundreds of them were supplied to customers in more than 10 countries worldwide. Apart from supplies of new presses, the company also offers the modernization and reconstruction of existing presses. Until recently, the production program of Skoda TS included presses of the conventional mechanical design only. The mechanical design has its advantages, such as robust structure providing solid reliability at relatively low first costs. However, it has also a number of disadvantages, such as lower mold adjustment precision and consequently also lower precision of the manufactured tire. Nor does it permit continuous clamping force control and the two-chamber design can only be used up to 63.5 inches tire size. Elimination of the disadvantages typical of the mechanical presses while preserving their advantages and considerably improved user properties, these were the primary aims of development works going on in Skoda TS, resulting in a curing press of a completely new conception, which thanks to its design and originality of technical arrangement, represents a new, markedly progressive element in the tire manufacturing process. The most advanced computing methods and simulations were applied in the development and execution of the design documentation. Each component of the press went through extensive tests. Also, the prototype of the press size, 63.5 inches, was tested thoroughly. The hydromechanical press design differs substantially from the mechanical press. In the latter, operating on the principle of a four-joint mechanism, the induction of the clamping force and the lifting of the chambers are effected by two rods pre-tension by eccentric wheels. This approach requires a robust lower structure with a crossbeam. In the new design, the press is opened and closed electromechanically by means of a ball screw or a hydraulic cylinder. The upper parts of the chambers and molds are mounted on a special carriage traveling horizontally and vertically on a railway without tilting. After the chambers have been closed with a bayonet, the working clamping force is induced by hydromechanical low-lift units. The semi-products are loaded by means of two specially designed loaders, which seize the semi-products in front of the press.
The loaders are firmly connected with the upper part of the chambers. The loading proceeds concurrently with the process of dispatching the cure tires, thus cutting manipulation time. The loader positions the semi-product into the lower parts of the molds onto the pushed-in lower bladder ring. Perfect semi-product centering is ensured by first-stage cambering effected by steam. Then the loader is lifted into its upper position to travel together with the lower chambers to starting operation position. Now the press is ready for locking. Before it's been locked completely, second stage steam cambering occurs. With the press locked completely, the two parts of the chambers are locked together by means of pneumatically controlled bayonet locks. Special hydromechanical units situated under the chambers help to induce and adjust the required clamping force. If necessary, the mechanical part of the drive of this unit permits to set the mode height and a low-lift hydraulic cylinder facilitates induction of any clamping force in the process of curing. The chamber design deserves special mention. Installed inside the chambers is a special, highly effective insulation to minimize heat radiation into the structure of the press. Thanks to the application of heating plates for heat transfer from the heating medium and perfect regulation of all energy media, the energy demand of the curing process has been reduced considerably. Once the curing process is over, the press is opened, the tire is pulled out from the lower modes by means of a pull-out mechanism controlled by hydraulic cylinders, and the cured tire is removed from the bladder by four pneumatically controlled turning levers mounted on the upper chambers. The upper chambers, together with the unloading device and the cured tire, then travel to the rear position to get above the rear chutes while the loader with new semi-products travels to a position above the mold center of the lower chamber. The tires placed on the chutes by the unloading device then slide down by gravity into the stabilizer. After stabilization, the tire is transferred onto the collecting conveyor. The loading equipment Chuck 2 features a new design. It consists of six arms designed to grip the semi-product. The arms are shifted in six spiral slots. The vertical movement of the clamping device is effected by means of a brake motor. The clamping force is induced by means of a spring. The arms are released by means of a hydraulic cylinder. The technological media distributors are located with respect to the layout of the customer's workplace. All control elements are purchased from renowned suppliers for absolutely reliable and trouble-free operation. 
The curing process is controlled by means of a microprocessor control system permitting to set a wide range of curing programs depending on the technological process concerned, on the initial semi-product properties and on the tire dimensions. The basic technological parameters, that is the heating steam temperature in the plates and the temperature and pressure of the water in the bladders are regulated in the curing process too. Their values are displayed on the monitor and stored in database files for possible use in further processing. The control system also provides whatever equipment diagnostic is needed. The system of fumes exhaustion from the upper chamber of the press, together with low chamber surface temperature, provides markedly better working conditions for the operators. Perfect access to all mechanisms of the press greatly facilitates maintenance, replacement of molds and any possible repairs of equipment. These shots document the quality of working conditions in the production hall where the new presses are installed. The constructional principles applied there have also made it possible to manufacture 75-inch presses of the two-chamber design. The constructional makeup is practically the same as in the 63.5-inch presses. Their high productivity, together with an extremely low power demand of the curing process, offer the customers an interesting option in technological equipment innovation. The single chamber design is another option of the Skoda hydromechanical curing presses. This constructional design is used with bigger presses of the 75, 90, 100 and 130 inch sizes. The lower part of the chamber is mounted to the press frame. The upper part is equipped with side plates with travelling rollers. The upper chamber movement is effected by a pair of special units with ball screws powered by a rotary hydro motor. The upper chamber moves along a crank railway for the chamber to move vertically while the press is being opened or closed and horizontally while loading a new green tyre and unloading the cured tyre. Mounted on the upper chamber is a loader designed to grip a green tire in front of the press and load it automatically into the lower part of the chamber. Green tire loading and cure tire unloading can be adapted to the customer's particular wishes and conditions. The design of the chambers and the principle of clamping for solicitation are the same as those in the 63.5 and 75 inch presses. The constructional design of the 90-inch press is shown in detail in the following shots. The curing process is followed by a vertical travel of the upper chamber together with a chuck of the loader which carries another green tire ready for curing. The central mechanism is equipped with a pair of hydraulic cylinders designed to pull up the cured tire. Four rotary levers take hold of the cured tyre after extraction. The upper chamber complete with the cured tyre and the chuck of the loader with another green tyre move first to the upper position and then to the rear position. The unloading equipment transfers the tyre onto a roller slip, communicating with the collecting conveyor behind the press. The tyre can be unloaded either in its horizontal position or by means of an inclinable desk which permits to unload the tyre in the vertical position. It is possible to supply presses 
either with crane-assisted loading and unloading or with a rotary loader mounted to the press frame, whose own height in the open condition doesn't exceed that of the press. Let's have another look at the whole cycle of loading a new green tyre. It is essentially the same as in the two-chamber press. The original constructional principles used in the Skoda hydromechanical presses make for optimum designs of even the largest sizes, including the 100 and 130 inch presses. Unlike mechanical presses, Skoda hydromechanical curing presses offer the following considerable advantages. The original conception of the Skoda hydromechanical curing presses has attracted a great deal of specialist attention. The 63.5 inch hydromechanical press was awarded a prestigious gold medal at the Brno International Engineering Fair in the Czech Republic.